The Fish by Elizabeth Bishop. I caught a tremendous fish and held him beside the boat, half out of water, with my hook fast in a corner of his mouth. He didn't fight. He hadn't fought at all. He hung a grunting weight, battered and venerable and homely. Here and there, his brown skin hung in strips like ancient wallpaper, and his pattern of darker brown was like wallpaper. Shapes like full-blown roses, stained and lost through age. He was speckled with barnacles, fine rosettes of lime, and infested with tiny white sea lice, and underneath two or three rags of green weed hung down. While his gills were breathing in the terrible oxygen, the frightening gills, fresh and crisp, with blood that can cut so badly, I thought of the coarse white flesh packed in like feathers, the big bones and the little bones, the dramatic reds and blacks of his shiny entrails, and the pink swim bladder like a big peony. I looked into his eyes, which were far larger than mine, but shallower and yellowed. The irises backed and packed with tarnished tinfoil seen through the lenses of old scratch isinglass. They shifted a little, but not to return my stare. It was more like the tipping of an object toward the light. I admired his swollen face, the mechanism of his jaw, and then I saw that from his lower lip, if you could call it a lip, grim, wet, and weapon-like hung five old pieces of fishing line. Or four, and a wire leader, with the swivel still attached, with all their five big hooks grown firmly in his mouth. A green line, frayed at the end where he broke it, two heavier lines, and a fine black thread still crimped from the strain and snap when it broke and he got away. Like metals with their ribbons, frayed and wavering, a five-haired beard of wisdom trailing from his aching jaw. I stared and stared. And victory filled up the little rented boat from the pool of bilge where oil had spread a rainbow around the rusted engine to the baler rusted orange, the sun-cracked thwarts, the oarlocks on their strings, the gunnels, until everything was rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. And I let the fish go.